Nick was very, um, very smart, very um, studious. Jack uh, was very adventurous. He was more of the um, daredevil, so to speak, with stuff, very athletic, and he was unresponsive, and that's uh, kind of when our nightmare um, started. June 14th is the day Becky Savage lost two of her sons. They both had hearts of gold. It was the day after a graduation party. Nick brought some friends for a sleepover. And the next morning, Becky went into Jack's bedroom to get his laundry. I was hollering for Nick because I knew Nick was at home. And I really did not know what was going on in my house at that point. And um, Nick never came. Both boys died of an overdose of oxycodone and alcohol. One bad choice cost them their lives, and it could have been prevented. My reaction was just uh, disbelief. I kept thinking, why wouldn't they just say no? Becky talked to her boys about alcohol and drugs, but she never mentioned the dangers of powerful prescription pills like opioids. A prescription drug misuse and abuse was not something that was on our radar at that point. And so it was a conversation um, that didn't happen. They were hockey players. Now Becky talks about it with whoever listens, with high schoolers, hundreds of them at a time, on this day in Las Vegas. My husband arrived home to a cul-de-sac full of lights, sirens, ambulances, and police cars. She tells them about Nick and Jack, two kids who grew up a lot like they did. And the common theme of questions that they ask me are, well, they're prescribed by a physician. They're, my doctor prescribed it or it was prescribed by a doctor. Why are you saying it's not safe? When it was prescribed for somebody else, it's not safe to take. And especially if you're mixing it with other substances like alcohol. It's all about choices. Daniel Neal begs students not to start, not to experiment. He's the special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration in Las Vegas. Uh, this is personal for me. I've got a 15-year-old son. You know, uh, he's a freshman in high school, and, and I want to get the message out to not only him, but others in his school and the rest of Clark County, the dangers of opioid overdoses. Just have the conversation. Have the conversation and talk about it. Talking about it keeps Nick and Jack's stories alive. Talking about it may keep other people's children alive. You know, we can use Nick and Jack's story to help change the course of somebody else's life for the better. Kelsey Thomas. They can live on by us telling their story. News 3.